I welcome you all with Islamic greeting. as salamu alaykum, which means, may peach be upon you. This is XLFC, Microsoft Excel Fan Club. Before starting the tutorial on function, it is necessary to be clear with the concept of formula and function. Let's discuss some of my annoying experience with you. When I started learning Excel, I used to make mistakes, like, without using the equal, I gave input of my required mathematical or logical expression in the desired cell. When I was not getting my required output I used to tear my hairs, saying why the Excel is not giving me the result. After thinking and finding the problem when I put the equal sign at the beginning, only then Excel gave me the result. Let me show you guys what I mean by it. Suppose A1 cell contains value 1, B1 cell contains value 2, and if I want to get result in cell, C1, then I will have to write, A1 plus B1, at cell, C1. So let's type, A1 plus B1, at cell, C1, and hit enter. Why Excel is not showing the result? Can you tell me why? Well, yes I have not used an equal sign in front of A1 plus B1. Let's give an equal sign to get the result. Here is our desired result. So, those who know about it please avoid making this funny mistake, and those who don't know about it please be aware of it. Ok, let's know what is a function. Functions are predefined instruction made using programming codes by Excel developers, to do specific type of tasks or operations in Excel. You can make your own functions using the VBA, or, Visual Basic for Applications. Visual Basic for Application is a programming language that is used to add programmability in Microsoft Office programs. In Excel there are huge quantity of functions built in, that means you can use them after the installation of Microsoft Excel. Sum, Count, Average, If, Max, MIN, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, Index, Match, Offset, etc. are the most common and widely used functions in Excel. Now that we know, what a function is. Let's know about formula. Whenever you want to get some result in a cell, you will have to start with the equal sign then write your desired mathematical or logical expression to get your result. When you type in equal and followed by any expression then, it will be in formula. A formula may contain mathematical expressions or logical expressions in them. Some formula can contain both of them. A function is inherited, or, put within a formula. Let's see some example to understand this concept, here in the left you can see some of the most common functions used in Excel, sum, count, average, etc., are examples for function. On the right side you can see some formula types, the first one uses a cell reference only, the second one uses three cell reference by addition operator. The third one uses the division operator among two cell address. The fourth one uses parentheses along with mathematical operators. The fifth one uses a function name sum, and mathematical expression. The sixth one uses only one function named count, and the last one also contains one function named max. Operators used in Excel Arithmetic operators, the plus, minus, asterisk, forward slash, percent, caret, are from this type. Comparison operators, the equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal and not equal, are from this category. Concatenation operator, the ampersand is from this type. Reference operators, the colon, comma, space are this type of operators. Operator precedence, in Excel operators works in following order. 1. Colon, 2. Comma, 3. 
negation, not minus, the one used to make a numeric value negative, 4, percent, 5. Exponentiation, you can use this operator by pressing the shift and 6 form your keyboard, don't use the 6 form your numpad, 6. Multiplication and division, as Excel formula is executed form left to right order, so which one will come first in the formula that will be executed first, 7. Addition and subtraction, this is same as multiplication and division. 8. Concatenation. After finishing these operators Excel executes the comparison operators. 1. Equal, 2. Less than, 3. Greater than, 4. Less than or equal, 5. Greater than or equal, 6. Not equal. You can rearrange the operators precedence by using the parentheses. We will discuss all about these operators in detail later in this course. What we have learned in this video. 1. What is a function? 2. What is a formula? 3. Difference between function and formula? 4. Operators used in Excel? 5. Operator precedence in Excel formula? Keyboard shortcuts used in this video? No keyboard shortcut has been used in this video. Thanks and that's all for today. If you like this video and this video comes to any help of yours don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel, XLFC. For getting more videos on Microsoft Excel. You might like to visit my blog at xlfc.blogspot.com or xlfc.wordpress.com